There was a man named John who took a job as a security guard at an old warehouse. The warehouse was located in a run-down industrial district, and it was rumored to be haunted. John didn't believe in ghosts, but he was still a little bit nervous about working there. On his first night on the job, John patrolled the warehouse and made sure that all of the doors were locked. He didn't see or hear anything unusual, but he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. The next night, John was sitting in the security office when he heard a noise coming from the back of the warehouse. He got up to investigate, and he found a door that was slightly ajar. He opened the door and stepped inside, and he was immediately assaulted by a smell that was like rotten meat. John walked deeper into the warehouse, and he saw that it was filled with old crates. The crates were stacked up to the ceiling, and they were covered in dust and cobwebs. John started to feel uneasy, and he wanted to leave, but he was afraid that he would get lost in the warehouse. John continued to walk, and he eventually came to a large room at the back of the warehouse. The air was thick with an otherworldly chill, and strange shadows danced on the walls. In the center of the room, an ancient, ornate box rested atop a pedestal. John's heart raced as he approached it, compelled by an unseen force. The moment he laid hands on the box, a voice echoed in his mind, a blend of whispers from the abyss. It spoke of forbidden knowledge and the price that must be paid for glimpsing into the cosmic unknown. John, driven by an insatiable curiosity, opened the box, unleashing a maelstrom of arcane energy. The room transformed, reality warping around him. The Kratis melted into grotesque figures, half-formed and writhing. The air became thick with the stench of decay, and the walls seemed to pulse with a malevolent heartbeat. John's surroundings shifted into a nightmarish landscape, a realm between dimensions. Suddenly, spectral entities emerged from the shadows, their faces twisted into grotesque masks of agony. They reached out to him, whispering ancient secrets and unfathomable truths that shattered his sanity. John realized he had crossed a threshold into a world beyond comprehension, a realm where the veil between the living and the dead was tattered and torn. As he stumbled through the surreal nightmare, John encountered a spectral figure clad in shadows, an entity that seemed to embody the very essence of cosmic dread. The figure spoke of ancient rites and the inescapable destiny that awaited those who dared to disturb the slumbering horrors beneath the surface of reality. In the climax of his descent into madness, John found himself back in the warehouse, the eldritch energy dissipating. The spectral figures faded, leaving him alone in the eerie silence. The warehouse, once a mundane place, now bore the scars of an encounter with the beyond. The following nights, John was tormented by nightmares, haunted by the knowledge he had unwittingly acquired. He became a living conduit to the otherworldly forces that lurked within the warehouse. Madness consumed him, and he became a mere puppet, dancing to the cosmic rhythms that echoed in his fractured mind. The old warehouse, forever changed by the events that unfolded, stood as a silent monument to the thin boundary between the known and the unknowable. As the whispers of the spectral entities lingered in the air, future security guards would tread cautiously, unaware of the cosmic horrors that slumbered just beneath the surface, a testament to the inescapable legacy of John's ill-fated curiosity 